Welcome to art class with Corin Little talking about colour theory. In this short course on colour theory, I'm going to walk you through the principles of mixing the six primary colours together and then uh, we'll look at secondary colours, tertiary colours and complementary pairs. And in the last two classes, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your own painting composition. A little bit about me. I'm a qualified teacher with a specialism in art. I have uh, two degrees in art, one from Goldsmiths and one from the School of the Art of the Institute of Chicago. One of my responsibilities was to expand the teaching of colour theory in all the local district schools. This exercise that I'm going to introduce today is really suitable for young people aged 8 to 14, but younger uh, students can also uh, give it a go. What you need for this exercise? So you need the primary colours, red, blue and yellow, or if you have access to the six primary colours that are listed below this video, or you can purchase them before you start this course, that will enable you to have a deeper learning experience. You'll need an old mug, uh, it's important that it has weight so it holds the brushes. If you use a paper cup or a polystyrene cup, you'll be sure to have an accident. So you find an old jug or an old jar where you can keep your brushes. And then um, a paper plate, I use these in the studio, or an old piece of cardboard or uh, an old dinner plate, anything you have that you're no longer using around the home. I've then covered my area in, you can use a wet cloth or old newspaper and I have a, a rag for cleaning my brushes. And then you're all ready to start painting. And I really recommend that you do this before each art class especially when we're doing painting because we like to get messy and we're going to get a bit messy. Also need an apron, an old t-shirt or an old shirt and I need to roll up my sleeves because often we get our sleeves in the paint. In this first painting experiment, we just need to find some paper that we have lying around the house. It can be any colour and um, sugar paper, just whatever you have. You've probably learnt up until now that there are three primary colours. Red, blue and yellow where in actual fact there are six primary colours and I'm going to go through with you today what the name of those six primary colours are and the fact that there are three hot and three cold. Okay, so we're going to learn the hot and the cold colours and then we're going to experiment with how they mix and what they do. And the wonderful thing about art and making art is it's discovery. And it's about you inventing your own colors today. Let us look at red. There are two red colors and the first one is cadmium red. You'll notice cadmium come up again in our talk today. So I'm going to cut this into two and I'm going to be very careful I don't chop off my fingers because I don't want to be going to the hospital right now. So cadmium red is a hot colour, a hot primary colour and alizarin crimson is a cold primary colour. So I'm going to put those over there and then we're going to discuss yellow. And you can see that the, the word cadmium comes up again. So we have cadmium yellow and lemon yellow. 
Now, which one do you think is the hot yellow and which one do you think is the cold yellow? Let's have a look at these two colours. Yes, so let us figure this out. What do you think? Well, those of you who realised that the hot red was called cadmium red might also have deduced that cadmium yellow is also a hot colour. So we're going to put that with that. And so yes, the lemon yellow goes under cold. Okay, so then we've, we've discovered our yellow primary colours. And now we're going to move to blue. So the hot blue is called ultramarine. And the cold blue is called pathalo blue. And this is really my favourite because when you mix this, you can learn how to make black with this colour. So these are our hot and these are our cold primary colours. Now, what is the difference between the hue of these colours, the tone? and the value. In the UK we use the word tone, but in America we use the word value. So I'll be using those both, and when I use them both, know that they mean the same thing, tone and value. The hot primary colours are very bright here, and the cold are more subdued. Then you want to fold the paper in half, in half again and in half again. I want 16 different squares in my paper so I can experiment with mixing colours. Now if you only have the primary colours red, blue and yellow that is fine. Just experiment with mixing the primary colours together. If you have the hot and cold primary colours as listed um, in the information for this video and on the tumbler or can order uh, the hot and cold primary colours for this course then you'll learn in greater depth. So here I have my 16 squares ready to experiment with mixing colour. For today's exercise I really want you to experiment just using two colours. You can mix the cold colours together, the hot colours across the hot and cold and just experiment and see what happens. A little painting trick in terms of creating a straight line. A load your brush up with paint and just drag it along and let your hand flow with it. It's like playing a violin, you just pull the bow across the strings. Always feel free to turn your paper around and make it easier so you don't get your hands and elbows into your paint. And then I'm going to do that again the same, just drag my hand along with a brush full of paint and then I get a nice straight line. And one last thing before I leave you today, because we're all living in confined spaces at the moment, so we want to be considerate of the people that we're living with. So when you're emptying the water, please ask somebody in your house which sink they would prefer you to use. But after you've poured your your dirty paint water down the sink. Please be careful and make sure you clean the sink after. It's quite easy just to swish the water, fresh water, as you're pouring the paint down the sink or down the toilet or wherever your uh, parents or guardians wish you to dispose of this. So, so uh, be safe and enjoy your painting.